In this tutorial, we will create a simple village well, like this. So create a new file of type general. Delete this default cube and add a mesh of type cylinder. Now scale up both of its X and Y dimensions by a factor of 1.5. And move it up little bit by 0.75. Also add one more cylinder similarly from the add menu, and scale it up by 1.2 in X and Y. And by a factor of 3 in the height. Now select the first cylinder, go to the modifiers tab, and add a boolean modifier. Ensure that difference is selected, and in the object field select the other cylinder. Now click on apply. You can delete the second cylinder. Our first step is done. Now select this object and go to the edit mode. Select the face selection mode, press the shift key and select all the elements of its top face. Then go to the mesh menu, separate, and then selection. The top face is now detached from the rest of its body. Select it, and let us turn on the rendered view mode. Add a new material for this. Then we need to open a shader editor. If you are new to Blender and not familiar with working in multiple editors, you can check my foundation course tutorials. The link is in the video description. So, in the principle BSDF, change the base color to red, and also make it little dark. Okay, now from the add menu, add a noise texture. Change the scale factor to say 50. And then connect it to the displacement input of the material node. We have to also add a material for the actual body. But before that, select the body part and go to the modifiers tab. Add the edge split modifier. Then add another modifier called subdivision surface. And increase the levels to 3. Then, in the materials tab, add a new material. The last part needs to be done in the shader editor. Let us move these nodes a bit. First go to add, texture, and brick texture. Then again go to add, input, and add a texture coordinate here. Then connect its UV output to the vector input here. Change this first color to deep orange. And also the second color to a similar one. Now, change the scale value to 10, and then the row height value to 0.45. Finally, connect its output to the base color input. If you want, you can also add a plane for the ground. Then press S, and then 50 and then enter to enlarge it. Add a new material for this, and change the base color to whatever you like as a ground. Probably, make it little darker. We can do some more adjustments here, to make it look more real. So add a bump node from the add menu. And also add a noise texture. These are really not important for this tutorial. These are just for the look and feel factor, and there is nothing specific about these settings. You can modify them just as the way your particular scene demands. Let us close this shader editor now. So, our final product is ready. This is a very simple village well that you can use in a 3D modeling, or maybe in a game development. I hope you liked this tutorial. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.